Hey readers, it's Anne, and I am here with your May Modern Mrs. Darcy book club selection. We are reading, as part of our YA in May tradition, So Many Beginnings, a Little Women remix from author Bethany Morrow, who you may know from her books A Song Below Water and Cherish Vera. This book is part of Macmillan's whole series of remixed classics. I love what Moro herself has to say about her aims for this story. She said that what she wanted to do above all was tell a truer story of the United States and what happened in 1863. A story that was more realistic as it addressed the chaos, the community, the abolitionists, the union, the recently, and as she says, the sometimes self-emancipated. What she wanted to do here was to keep only the universal elements of a story that is too often considered wholly universal. To her, that meant keeping the familial love, especially as we see among the March sisters, and also she couldn't part with Lori. She says that she wanted to tell the story of a black quartet of sisters who were starting over, who are starting new lives in a country that claimed to be doing the same. As you will see, much of the action is set in the very real, historically accurate freed people colony in Roanoke, Virginia. As is the case with so much historical fiction, do not miss the author's note where Morrow explains her process and how she stumbled upon all this information about the freed people colony in the first place. YA in May is a long-standing tradition here at Modern Mrs. Darcy, and I'm so excited to be digging into this remixed classic with you. Now, because our May selection bumps up into summer reading guide season, we don't typically read flight picks. Those are purposeful pairings that uh, augment and add to your reading experience because you don't need anything else to read when there are so many summer reading guide selections coming out. However, we're reading a Little Women remix. We could not resist. We are, of course, offering the flight pick for discussion. Pick up your favorite edition. This is mine of Louisa May Alcott's Little Women. Now, if you have to read one, please read Bethany Morrow's. And these books do not need to be read in order. You do not need to read Little Women first before reading so many beginnings. But many of you have had Alcott's classic on your to-be-read list for ages. And we knew that you may want to take this opportunity to final read it. So you, we are giving you the opportunity to do so in community. Friends, I can't wait to dig into these with you and with the author. Bethany Morrow, who is joining us for a discussion later in May. It's going to be such a good month reading together, and there's no one I'd rather be reading these books with and discussing them with than you here in Modern Mrs. Darcy Book Club. Happy reading, everyone.